guess this is the end. Getting close to it. This a certain type of fucked up lifestyle I got. Oh, that's a fucking, I already have a solid beer there. We'll get it and it fits one whole 60 ounce natty light. Right? Here's what I'm gonna see. It's meant so you, you can call someone or fill your beer when it's not when you're empty. Uh, uh, Stratton made this piece, which is kind of very, it was very foretelling. You know, he, he understands what Friday the 13th is about. It's all these covert symbols and uh, uh, secret language that, that artists employ in each other that not, not very many people catch. But he made this one that says, Who's up was up is doomed. And he had these two pigs eating from this like generic monkey head. And I said, well, The two pigs say, Tastes like chicken. Of course, you're eating that monkey. And it says, Botulism. No. What the hell? You've got this devil worshipping shit all over the lake. I had this other really cool looking piece right here I was going to do. I had this whole box of just miscellaneous nudes and porn items that I wanted to do. Along with that chatterbait thing, but I don't know. I'm just, I'm just kind of, there's nowhere really to work anymore. I mean, like, that's my wall to work on, and I'm just I'm becoming overloaded with shit. I'm, so. The studio's gonna close down, guys. There ain't gonna be nothing to produce for a while. Who are you? Who have you turned into? You look at the eBay shit. I'm gonna be put out of my misery on eBay. I, I wanna have a flat line, nothing sells at all. I mean, it's got very few watchers. If there's a flat line on eBay and nothing moves, I mean, that's pretty much it. It's over. I ain't gonna post any more shit on there. Why should I after that last? So that's fucking bullshit there. It's like. Friday the 13th is sucking butt, man. It's not going good. Quitting you. I'm quitting. You know, hey, the, you know, the past, you know, what's happened also is the Strad Possum has left. He's left the building and he's out of the picture. He sent me an email saying he ain't participating anymore. Goodbye. Adios. No mas. And so I made two of these paintings. I'm so. And his hog head on the rocker. You know, that's definitely, he actually came up with kind of a, that kind of piece. But, I'm telling you, man, this is going to be a fucking tough. I these other guys here, but I just don't. God, you brought me over here just to enter. All right, there's art about art, and there's art about symbols. A narrative painting. And I can tell you one thing, that I've always been more motivated by coming up with wit. And uh, symbols that have meaning as a, even as a smart ass as which I am I know that the basis of all my art has always been sort of symbolic and I always say that just trying to paint it alone that kind of friction that kind of static basically creates uh, another body of work but ultimately it's about the symbolism of what things mean kind of like this painting here <coughs> a winning uh, Red Mud Jolly Chimp character. And, uh, oh, by the way, there's a video here that, in below box, that this uh, other director made of me uh, shooting, doing this whole deal. I thought it would be really cute to shoot red with a BB gun and poke holes and then make little blood marks. But, you know, th as this piece rolls on into time, you know, only a handful of people really know or give a fuck about what the hell this means. But to me, that doesn't really make a difference. It's just the fact that I know that I've created this symbolic piece that for me personally as time goes on I know what this means I know why I was made I understand the uh, the significance of it and the cool thing about this is that as your imagination uh, starts to uh, develop in its own pathos and uh, vindications and uh, grudges you're gonna make more artwork it's gonna be always gonna be about artwork about something else. See, people just don't make fancy, the day little little stupid fucking uh, decorative shit. That decorative shit has no real significant symbols to mean anything to nobody other than just the people that want to buy them to decor their fucking house. Who gives a fuck? You know, at least for me, I can tell you all my artwork has always been personal. It's always something about who you are as a character. And why you make it, and if it just gets piled up in a goddamn uh, suitcase somewhere, you know, fuck it. Years go down the line, someone will figure it out. 
If not, it doesn't really make any difference. You're winning on both sides of the camp. You know, it's the Van Gogh thing. The Van Gogh's ear deal. You know, all the outsiders thing, it's just a Henry Darger deal or the Dassel deal. You win, win, as long as you make the fucking work and you're not driven, you're not motivated by the motherfucking market. If you're motivated by the market, you're going to die because the market eventually is going to find out you're just a fucking stupid fat. And it's just whether you have enough fucking soul to make the thing run. And that running is why you're making it. You have to know why you're motivated. At least that's why I always ask myself. And I actually, I judge other artists on that stuff too. I always say, why are they really, what are they motivated to do? What's their real core motivation as a person? Well, as time goes on, I know I like to make stuff. It's always about something. So, so Stratton, Red, Bosco, Scruffy, and uh, other assorted art characters. Here's to you guys. Toast to the Friday the 13th. Manny Stratton for giving me this crate, this nice mug. There's some footage here of Justin. Justin I want to talk about. What's up, George? It'd be like little clips. Turn what? No, you're slopping. You're slopping the hogs now. So you can uh, learn. This kind of reminds me of like me and Red on eBay trying to slop up to them all those bids. Who's gonna pay? Who's gonna give you twenty-five hundred dollars worth of milk, right? For twenty-five dollars. Twenty-five dollars. 